<clears throat> okay, we're going to continue with project one. At this point, we've already wired up our lamp post and we're going to go ahead and wire up our switch. So again, you're, you're going to work backwards with this. And the reason we work backwards from the light to the switch and then bring your power from the source in is because a lot of times students will be at this point, they're ready to put their power in. We look up and the time, you know, is only two or three or four minutes left in class. And it takes longer to bring your power in than that. So I want to make sure that you work backwards. And then you can use the rest of the time if you have some left to work on your study guide. Okay. So we're going to show you how to put this switch in. We'll assume we have enough time. Um, what I've done already is I've taken my Romex through the wall, just like this. We've come up and down through the wall here, through the wall, the hole in the wall this way, and then I have my Romex. Now, for time's sake, I've already gone ahead and stripped this Romex off, just like I've done before, putting on those boxes. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in through this box. Now, this does not have any tabs in it, but just for the sake of this demonstration, it'll work. So we'll go ahead and tuck this in. And I want, again, about you know four to five inches of wire minimum coming out of this box. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my wire strippers. Again, I want to make sure my wastebasket is nearby. And typically, we put it right underneath the trainer. So both you and the other person working on this can go ahead and um, put their trash in it right away. So <clears throat> you probably notice that these copper uh, wires are pretty sharp when you start cutting them. So what I like to do is kind of push it out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and use that 14 gauge. I'm going to strip off about a half inch of wire. Go ahead and drop that into the waste basket. Move that down so I don't cut myself. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here like that. Go ahead and pull that out, drop it in my waste basket, and now I'm ready to wire up at least the first half of my switch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this over to the left side there. I've got my hot and I've got my neutral. Now if I look at my diagram, my diagram says to put the blacks from the black wire from this piece of Romex coming from the light to the top part of the switch, and then the other black to the other part, and then I'm going to wire not the whites together. <clears throat> so the way I do that is I'm going to go into my bag here and again you're going to have your bag based on uh, whichever uh, wall you're assigned to in your hour. Now there's two different kinds of switches on these bags. You got this kind and this kind. The difference obviously is this one's a little wider and this one's not. But the real difference, this is a single pole switch. You have two posts on it plus your ground screw up here. On this one, you have your ground screw, but you also have three posts. This is your three-way switch, and we'll get into that in another lesson. So it's important you use this one. Now, if you turn it around, you can see that the off part is here, and then there's the on part. So this would be the top of the switch. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to install this switch. And the way I do that, I'm going to take my needle nose pliers. My needle nose pliers, I am going to use to bend this over to the right. Again, from the lamp holder video, you should have seen that we want it always going clockwise around to the right. I'm going to go ahead and hold this up like so. And when I do that, again, this is the Romex going up to my lamp. I'm going to go ahead and hook it around my lamp or my post just like this. I take my screwdriver. I'm putting a little pressure. If you leave this slack a little bit, it's going to go ahead and, and come off of there. I'm going to go ahead and pull it a little bit, and I like to put my finger out here to kind of put some pressure on that. Pull it tight. Make sure you don't, you're careful with your screwdriver so it doesn't slip off. And then I go ahead and tighten that nice and snug. Okay? Now, that is how you connect that. Now, in order to bring my power in. Let's assume at this point um, I am going to um, actually, you know what, at this point I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave my white wire here and I'm going to show you how to do a pigtail. Now to do a pigtail what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of wire that should already be cut off from 
um, another piece of scrap Romex. And a pigtail should be approximately, oh, I don't know, six to eight inches. It's just a piece of wire like this. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take that piece of copper. I'm going to take a wire nut and I'm going to go ahead and have that ready to go. Okay? Now, let's assume at this point we've got enough time to put our power in. So I'm going to take my power from down below here and again the power is going to be kept right down here all coiled up you don't want to leave it just hanging out here like this at the end of class you can see what an issue that would be with people you know dragging their feet and legs into it so we want to make sure we coil it up at the end of the hour just like this and then we'll stick it back here but we uncoil it we're stripped off like that we're going to go ahead and strip off our insulation, again, using the 14. Now I'm going pretty fast with this. Obviously, you're going to take your time. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that gets in the garbage. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and bring this into our electrical box. like so and just like that okay now we're gonna go ahead and wire this in now you gotta keep track of the Romex this one is going to go back down here so again we're gonna go ahead and take our needle nose pliers we're gonna turn it clockwise around to the right we're gonna go ahead and put this on the bottom again hold it tight Tighten her down like so, and we're in good shape. Again, we're going clockwise around those posts. Now, in order to wire nut these together, we're going to have our wire nut ready. We're going to take our linesman's pliers here, and just like the wire nut video that you should have already watched, we're going to go ahead and twist those together around to the right. Go ahead and snip off those ends just a little bit. Going to take our wire nut and we're going to put it over like this. Make sure they're really tight. There is our wire nut for our neutral. So we're going to go ahead and put those to the side. Now the last part is going to be what we call a pigtail. We're going to loosen up this ground screw a little bit. It's this little green screw here. And it's very important you ground it because we need every fixture, whether it be a switch or an outlet, to be grounded inside your box. So we're going to take the two ground screws. Again, we've got one coming from the lamp post. We've got another one, excuse me, ground wires coming from the lamp post and one coming from the power. We're going to go ahead and hold these together, and I know it's a little bit different because you've got three different wires going on here, but you hold them like so. You take your linesman's pliers, and you go ahead and wire nut them just like this. Twist them up. Give it a good three or four different turns to the right. Go ahead and snip those off. Take a wire nut. And you go ahead and give it a nice twist. And again, you want to twist them up until they're good and tight. That wire nut should be on there good. And now we've got our last connection. Now, in order to make our last connection, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this around like this. We're going to take our needle nose pliers, give it a nice little hook around to the right, put our ground screw on like that. And there you have it. That is exactly how we wire up a switch.
Okay. Now to finish this process, what we're going to do is we're going to carefully and neatly fold these in. And I'd like you to have me actually look at this while it's out like this. It'd be a lot simpler to look at this when you have that done like that. Before you tuck everything back in, we want to very neatly and carefully fold these back in because you do not want this ground wire touching anything else. Go ahead and fold those back in. And then you're going to take your two screws that go in here, which are the longer silver ones, and that'll snug them down real good and you'll be ready for your switch plate and to check.